we're in Aarhus Harbor and seeing the world's biggest catamaran ferry leaving with cars and people for the other side, island of Sealand. This is a building site that where Johan Christensen, my cousin, is in charge of a building, a big building. It's actually apartments and about 10 stories high. Anyway, here's Ogan Jorn going up in the elevator. We're going up to look at the view of the big harbor here. There's a new modern building next door that's uh, an unusual, and I guess it, it uh, got an award for something. Now, <clears throat> it happens to be that the world's biggest collection of tall ships were there, and uh, this is a race going on, and now we're getting into the harbor, and we'll see some of the buildings there. This is the uh, tall ships. There was only there was over 100 gathered there for a race to Finland, and this is an old Swedish ship that is actually a copy of the original that stranded in, on the coast of Sweden in 17. 75, I think it was. It's a beautiful thing. It's amazing that they could build one. Now, this was built in 2005, only seven, eight years ago. There's a Dutch ship that's uh, called the Flying Dutchman going out in the harbor with a bunch of people on a tour. There's a Norwegian ship that's pretty large and it's uh, about a hundred meters long. There is the longest ship at the contest. It's uh, 108 meters long, one centimeter longer than a Russian one. That's also a very big ship. This is George Stage, which is a Danish training ship. And there's the famous one, the training ship Denmark, that's uh, uh, almost a uh, 80 meters long. <clears throat> I went on board and saw some of the fancy things there. Tremendous helm.
Just go asylum cup. This is across uh, the bay at Aarhus on the Jewish land. And there we were supposed to see the ships take off. This is the day after Sunday, about midday. And it's a little too far away to get good pictures, but this is the harbor there. So people are sitting there waiting for this big event to take place. I use the zoom lens that really doesn't get it quite clear, but you still get an idea of what's going on. So here are the big ships, the tall ships, setting sails and heading for Finland. It's their next stop. This is across the bay in Aarhus. I think that's the it's a big Russian ship that's about a hundred hundred and nine meters long. <clears throat> There's a Danish ship called Georg Stage, George Stage. I think this is the Polish ship that's actually the longest of them, 108, <clears throat> almost 109 meters long one centimeter longer than the Russian one, which is in practice not very much. These are some of the ships involved in There's the Danish training ship. This is the Mexican ship. There was three Mexican ships actually there. This is the biggest. It had the the biggest crew of almost two hundred cadets. Quite a sight. There's the route from Aarhus <clears throat> to Helsinki in Finland. This is just a little side trip up to Jorns and Ulas Beach House in the northern part of Denmark. It was on a rainy, cold, windy day. But it was nice up there. The girls were building canoes out of pea pots. Beautiful area. Uh, 
is Yorn, and his son-in-law. It's a pheasant feeder. <clears throat> Ronnie's children, sons, uh, Yohan's son and his wife were there. Nice dog. Very nice dog. Now we're getting a little closer to home. This is out behind Gang Boat by the Lake Tanga, which is a dammed up lake. It's not a natural lake. It's one of my dad's favorite flowers. There used to be a lot more of them there. But, and there's some. Italian mules, I think it is. Italian assholes, I mean, donkeys, I guess they call them. Beautiful place there. That's the lake. This is in Inga's backyard. She has a little summer house out close there. And that's about this, what this is all about.